But topping up the show today, a Georgia-based firm is in the forefront of irrigation technology worldwide. With product distribution in 55 different countries, the electrostatic spraying systems that are produced in Watkinsville near Athens, Georgia, have become world-renowned. Monitor's Damon Jones takes a closer look at this unique technology and explains how it benefits farmers. There are some hair-raising experiments going on in this local Watkinsville business as their search for the most efficient sprayer continues. And whether big or small, these electrostatic spraying systems use some of the most advanced technology in order to maximize the coverage area. Instead of just hitting the top of the leaves, that it literally goes around and coats the bottom side of the leaf because many times on the bottom side of the leaf is where you'll find the bugs, the molds, the mildews, the different kinds of things that you're actually trying to get to so that you have a good quality product and a crop. A better coverage area means better results with the same amount of work while also cutting down in the amount of chemicals needed. As for how this equipment works, well, better leave that to the professionals. We start with a lot of air. We use either an air compressor or a blower or an air supercharger. The air comes through the system and it atomizes the drop from a normal big droplet into about a thousand little droplets. Those little droplets then become, they come through the nozzle and there's an electrode at the end of that nozzle that puts a charge on it. So the droplet leaves the nozzle as a thousand droplets, not one droplet, and electrostatically charged so that when it leaves the nozzle, that droplet is looking to stick to something. Developed at the University of Georgia, this patented technology is unique to this business as they are the only company to partner with the school. So while many others have tried to duplicate this system, none have lived up to the original. We were the ones that pioneered it. We we're the ones who started it. You know, there, there is a lot of imitators out there, but there's nothing that gets our charges, that gets, you know, like our quality you know and, and you, you mentioned something about you know it, is the is the sprayer expensive yes it is well the technology we have into this you know for what we have into this thing it's not expensive and for what it'll save you it's not expensive and that's very evident as you can find these sprayers in 55 different countries around the world mainly for high value crops such as table grapes lettuce and broccoli in fact more than 80 percent of their inventory gets shipped overseas there's a very big demand. If, if you just could see, you know, around here in the shop, you know, we've, we're building as fast as we can, you know. It's a uh, very big demand for it. People, people who, who see the technology and use it and see how well it works, that's, you know, it's really, it's kind of word of mouth kind of thing too. You know, people start talking about it and then they realize how, you know, they see their production of crops and that's where that really, really shows them, you know, how well these machines work. Now, just how well do they work? Well, according to all the feedback from producers, they are likely to see an increase of at least 25%. I have a fellow in Mexico that bought our sprayer uh, two years ago. He did nothing different, so, so sprayed the same way, the same people, the same amount of liquid, everything. But what he got was he went from 7,000 boxes off of his acreage of, uh, he was producing uh, bell peppers but he went from 7,000 boxes to 11,000 boxes. So obviously big things continue to come out of this small town business, which prides itself in putting out the best and most advanced product possible. I think it's, I think it's pretty extraordinary, you know, that people can come together and, and actually, you know, build a product that's, that's desired all over the world enough to sell as many sprayers as we've sold them just in the past year overseas. You know, I think, it's, I think that's definitely something special. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Damon Jones.